This week's word of the week is going to be uh, KERF here, K-E-R-F. What that means is I got the definition that popped up on the Google and it says a slit made by cutting, especially with a saw. Uh, in the welding industry, it's uh, oxy fuel, plasma, uh, water jet, laser, and what it is is the gap that is created when you're removing material in one of those processes. So if you look right here, if we were cutting this with a, a saw, let's just say, that's the gap right there, curve, how wide that is when you're cutting it. It's very important because you, if you are taking measurements and you have the kerf on the wrong side, your measurements will be all screwed up. Uh, a lot of automated stuff has uh, kerf compensation where it says put the kerf in, you put the kerf in and then it automatically does that stuff. When you're working manually on cutting stuff, and uh, let's, I'm thinking of a guy that I work with all the time, we have a pretty good relationship as far as what I'm thinking he knows. Um, so like I drew this right here, uh, if this is where we're cutting, and I'll throw an X on there and I'll say make the X disappear. That means that you want your curve on this top part because that's the drop. So like right here, you see the curve is up here. So this is the piece that you're saving. Another thing I'll say to them is, uh, you know, make the black line disappear right here. This means shoot right down the middle of the black line uh, for whatever reason. So you, you develop relationships with people that you're working with and you can uh, develop your own language. Um, but you always want to think of the curve because if you cut this curve right down in the middle of this and, it, and this is the piece you want, you have now screwed up the measurements of your part. So you want to always be aware of the curve. What we'll do now is we will uh, look up some, uh, just some illustrations that I found on the internet of different processes, how big the curve is, and uh, that'll be it for the day. So uh, we'll take a look at that and get moving. This first illustration we got here is just a laser. It just shows you what a curve looks like. It's right here, a curve. You can obviously see what it is, the gap being created from the laser cutting process. So the next one we'll look at here is uh, going to be different widths of curves versus process. This next illustration here, you can see is comparing plasma, oxy fuel, water jet, and laser curves. And there's no exact curve for these processes, but you can see uh, this is the difference between how wide they are. So hopefully that clears up what a curve is and you'll remember it when you're out in the field. It doesn't just apply to welding, it goes to all trades pretty much. Anything that you're cutting uh, has a curve. So thanks for watching subscribing to TV Weld and we'll get at it next week.